Hi guys, it's Ronnie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video that's pretty different from a lot of the other content on my channel, yet still kind of in the same realm. Today I want to start a new series where I recreate things that I have found on YesStyle. If you don't know what YesStyle is, it's a it's an Asian fashion website. It has a lot of other stuff on it, but most people go to it for fashion. You can watch lots of different haul videos and such about yes style but it's pretty a lot of people who like k-pop or k-dramas know about it because it has a lot of k-fashion as well so i like to browse around yes style but i don't buy anything on there because fast fashion is just not good for the environment and generally it's just not very good for my pockets anyway so Whenever I'm on there, I kind of just like to get inspiration for fashion and things like that. And one day I stumbled across this really cute like froggy earmuff thing. And then it started coming up on Pinterest and I was like, I need this. I need this. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know how to crochet and this looks like it's like a knit earmuff type of thing. And you can do very similar projects in crocheting as you can knitting. So I thought to myself, I can make this. So that's why I want to make this video. I want to show you guys how I did it because it was really easy actually and you can kind of like mix and match and like do different things like create your own patterns for this like kind of like use it to fit other things if you wanted to not make a frog like if you wanted to make a cat or a dog or something like that you could definitely do that um with some like minor alterations to it um but yeah i just thought it would be cool to share this with you guys um if you don't really care for a tutorial or something that's in depth about it then i guess you can skip over this video um but uh, for the most part, that's what the series is going to be. It won't all be crochet, hopefully, but right now I'm working on a lot of crochet projects. So, anyway, let's get into the video. Okay, so for this project, you're going to need your yarn. I'm using an eye size hook. Um, and I think this would be considered um, about a medium. So, like, maybe... A three or four probably four um, I'm also gonna be using some white yarn for the eyes some felt I mean some of your basic stuff here um, but anyway to get started on it okay so first we're gonna start with our slip knot it's pretty self-explanatory And I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, then I'm going to half double crochet into the second loop that you can. Um, and a half double crochet pretty much is when you yarn over, you stick the hook through the chain loop you bring another loop up so you have three loops on your hook and then you pull it through all the way through so then I'm gonna chain one and I'm going to turn it so now I've got my I've got about two rows pretty much and so for this, you want to start increasing on both ends. So I'm gonna do two half double crochets into my first loop there. Then continue on. And then in that final loop, we're gonna do two more. And this will help to extend it exponentially, <laughs> i.e. Um, you can see how this immediately will start to get to the size that you want it to get to. So this will be the final row that I'll extend it to. I have 13 here and now I'm just going to continue to make rows until this is long enough to 
accommodate my head, I guess. Um, again, it really doesn't matter how long it is. Um, you can kind of guesstimate, I guess. That's what I do, but anyway, you're just gonna do one half double crochet into each chain space until it's as long as you want it to be. Okay, so now I've got it kind of like the length that I want it, um, or at least close to the length that I want it. So now I'm going to start decreasing and you're pretty much gonna do this just by skipping one at the beginning. So I'm at the end of a row and I've turned my work. And so what I'm going to do is do a half double crochet into not this first loop, but this second one. Then continue on. So now that I'm at the end of the row, there's two left and I'm gonna skip the one before the end of the row and go into the very last one. And I'm gonna pull it a little bit tighter so that way it will go through. And I'm just gonna do the same thing with the rest of the rows until I have about three, um, three loops. So now I'm gonna start on this outer part here. So for the outside, I'm going to be doing a double crochet, which means I'm going to insert my hook into the loop and I'll have three loops like I would with a half double crochet. See if I can get that to be in focus, there we go. Um, and I'm gonna yarn over and pull through the first two loops and then yarn over again and pull through the last two. So it kind of creates this, uh, this little bar here. And I'm going to do that into um, each of these spaces. So again, I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook, then yarn over again, go through two loops, yarn over again, go through the final two. And it can be difficult to see like where you should insert your hook at first, but you'll kind of figure out like the different spaces that there are that you can kind of um, insert your hook. Okay, so I've reached the end of the row. I've made my way back around. And so now I'm gonna start on the second row, which is going to be different than the first one because this is where we're going to start creating um, the textured look that it has on the outside. So what you're gonna do is you're going to yarn over first, then you're going to kind of pull at the edge there so that you can find where there's kind of this, um, I guess, post. Um, and so you're gonna stick your crochet hook behind it, then back around so you can see how the, the post is sticking up. You're gonna yarn over again, you're gonna pull it around so that you have three, and then you're gonna finish off like you would with the double crochet. All right, I had to kind of reposition because I had to change my battery. Anyway, so for the next one, you're going to start off the same way by yarning over, but instead of going behind like this, you're actually going to turn your work or at least turn it so that way you can get behind it and instead of going through the front, you're gonna take it, go through the back so you can see the post sticking up there. And again, you're going to yarn over and pull through. Now, sometimes it gets stuck, that happens. I haven't found a way, um, at least for me, that works the way that I want it to, um, like every single time. So um, it may just take a little getting used to. Um, but once you kind of figure it out, it's a lot easier going. All right, so I've made my way back around and I've done the final one um, for this side anyway. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull 
through and kind of do like um, a single crochet into there just to kind of help start me off. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new row, but I'm only going to make three. So I'm going to go through the loops here at the top and make some double crochets. So I'm going to make one, two, three, and four. Okay, so I'm going to now turn my work again and I'm going to do what I would normally do and start underneath and create this next row of double crochets. So I've done one, two, and three. So as you can see, you'll do three, or it'll feel like three. So you have your first little bar, I guess. Um, then you have the second one that you start on, the third one, and then the fourth one. And then of course, you're going to do, gonna chain one and then turn it. Now obviously you can make yours like wider if you want to um, by adding more in, but um, I thought that three was good enough. So we've got one, two, three, and then we're gonna do one more, and we're gonna do it into this like, this kind of area that, this area that I turned on. Um, so again, we have a new row. Okay, so I've decided to make these fairly short because I want to put a button on them. Um, so, especially because I'm kind of lacking in yarn right now. Um, so I'm going to do the final row on this one. And I'm going to just make a row of the double crochets. I just think that it kind of like ends it in a good place. Um, I don't know, I just, I like that better than having the, um, than having like the pattern or whatever. Um, at the very end, I just think it works better since it's flatter. So I'm gonna take my hook out and I'm going to cut off the tail pull it through, and that fastens it off. So we're not going to work our way back around to try to do the other side. We're just going to attach the yarn. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take the end of my yarn, and this is kind of where it could go one way or the other. Um, I find it like the best way to do it is to just fold it in half. I'm going to start kind of like on the side, um, so not directly where I'm going to be putting them, um, but kind of like, kind of one like next to it. So I'm going to stick it through, or if you have trouble like me, you can take your hook and pull it through like that. Um, and I like to just tie mine on there. I know other people have different methods, um, but I just, it's so much easier to just tie it and then kind of work from there. So what I do is I'm gonna pull it through. I'm gonna pull it through here and then do kind of, I'm gonna chain one and then that will be where I'll be able to start doing my double crochets. Um, so hopefully you caught that easy enough. And again, I'm just going to double crochet four of them here on the end. So now the main part of the headband 
is essentially finished. Um, I cut it and fastened it off the way I normally do. So this is what this looks like. If you wanted to stop here, you definitely could. Um, this would be a cute little headband that you could wear. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep going and we are going to make some eyes. Um, so I'm going to start off with a slip knot and this sort of process is um, kind of loosely based on amigurumi. Arigum. Yeah, amigurumi. Um, but it's kind of like loosely based on it. So anyway, I have my I have my slip knot and my hook. And so I'm going to chain one, then chain another, so two. So I've chained the amount that I want. And so I'm going to then stick my hook back into the original, pull one through, and essentially create a single crochet within that. And so I'm gonna do this around six times. So this is kind of the equivalent of a magic ring. Um, one, two, um, then I'm going to stick my hook through like this first one here and do a slip stitch. And so now I have this nice little circle here. Um, hopefully you saw that. I don't know if that was in focus or not. It's hard to pay attention to both. Anyway, so here's my my little circle, my little magic ring, sort of. Um, the only like caveat with making this kind of magic ring is that you can't pull it to uh, be closed, I guess. Um, so if you did want to make a real magic ring um, that you could cinch closed um, and close up this middle hole, um, you'd actually have to do it a different way, but this is really easy if you're just making something simple like what I'm doing. Anyway, I chained one and you're just going to um, do some more single crochets, but you're going to do two into each um, into each loop, into each stitch, um, and this will help extend it out. So now my my circle is bigger. It's two times bigger. So I have 12 all the way around. Um, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make this 18. So how I do that is I'm going to do a single crochet into the first one. So that's one. And then the next one I'm going to do two. So two, three. And that will help to slightly extend this without um, making it curl up really bad. Um, and so you're just going to do every other one. So four, five, six, and again here at the end I'm just going to do a slip stitch and pull it through. So because this is going to essentially be like a circle but kind of times two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and just do a single crochet into each one. So again, you should just have 18. So one, two, three. So as you can see, I've created kind of this like little, sorry, I've kind of created this little bowl type of thing. Um, and that's because I just, I went around and did another layer. So essentially this is as big as it's going to get. Um, and so now when I go around, I'm going to go through single crochet one, then chain one, then I'm going to skip one and go into the next one and do the same thing. And so I believe, yes, I believe I've made my way back and this is when I'm going to, um, to drop the chain one. So I'm going to go into the next one and then just keep going around getting rid of one every single time. Um, it kind of helps to pull it a little bit tighter um, just so you kind of have like a grip on it I guess. Um, 
but you're pretty much just going to keep doing that. Um, keep doing it into every other one until you've essentially got none left. And then you'll eventually kind of hit the end here where now you're just going to chain one and cut it off. So now you've got this little saucer circle type thing. Okay, so now that I've completed both of my little circles, it's time to make the smaller circles or like the whites of the eyes. So again, we're pretty much going to do the same thing. I'm using a yarn that's actually like too small, I guess, or considered... Um, you probably wouldn't use this yarn for the same project, but this is the white that I have right now. So anyway, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to chain two and do kind of a magic circle into... Um, into that initial one. I'll show it again, sorry. Um, so yeah, you're just gonna do a magic circle into, um, and then again, we're going to extend this or double it. Um, as you can see, it covers a good majority of this. Now you can stop here and just have like a regular circle or you can make it double-sided. I think in my original one, I made it double-sided, but I'm realizing now that I really didn't need to do that. Um, that I could have just done this regular circle because all we're gonna do is sew it into, or sew it onto this. So for this, you're going to need a yarn needle. Um, it's much larger than a regular needle. Um, so that is why it's called a yarn needle. Um, and so, um, you don't necessarily have to cut off any part of this in particular, just because, um, you can cut it off at the end. Um, but pretty much you're just going to, uh, sew it like you, you normally would. So, I'm just gonna pull... A little bit of thread through and just kind of sew this in all the way around um, and again it really shouldn't take long or really much effort um, the only thing you need to keep in mind is not to have it go through to the back so you'll kind of have to feel with your needle um, to make sure that your yarn isn't coming through the back side as well. Um, so once you get to the end, you can fasten it off however you want to. Um, now I'm kind of changing up the um, the medium, the materials. I'm just this is plain black felt. You can buy it literally for like fifty cents at any craft store, um, or even just you know the dollar store. Um, but I decided to cut out two little black squares. I folded this over and I mean, it's pretty obvious. You're just going to cut out some circles. Um, you can do, you know, you can do whatever you want, I guess, for this part. Um, you can make them really small or really big. Um, you can see that they like fit pretty well on the inside. So for this next part, I'm actually just going to be using regular black thread and a regular needle. So obviously if you wanted to stay in the same like medium and you like didn't want to go out and buy felt or you just, you don't want to have to sew or use any other thing besides your crochet hook and, um, and needle and everything then you could just make a really small round, so probably um, just that first six from the magic ring, um, because again, that'll be like smaller than, than the 12. Sorry, let me zoom out. Okay, so now you have your pieces, you have your headband, and you have your eyes. So now you just have to figure out where exactly you're gonna put your eyes. 
so since I only have the one done right now, um, I can kind of just put it wherever. And so I'm going to grab what little I have left of this yarn, and I'm going to thread it through my yarn needle, and then I'm just going to sew it on. And I think a good thing to keep in mind when trying to sew this on is is that you kind of want it to be able to sit up so when you put it on people will be able to see it there we go you can see that it's essentially sitting up by itself um, just from me sewing it in here so yeah that is the basics of how to put this all together and everything um, that's like the full tutorial and I'll get back to you when I finish this whole thing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my Depop in the link down below. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one.